Hello guys, I got a request from all this piece right here and that's for sure to do. As usual, my goal here is to share the workflow and the process. It's up to you to spend more time getting all the, you know, super, you know, proper details here. Uh, some of these details I recommend not to do with geometry, but just to use a displacement map. Uh, maybe do a quick unwrap or maybe do a quick UW map projection and just kind of, you know, create these textures in Photoshop, for example, and then just kind of apply them. Or you can just, for example, take this into a ZBrush and just kind of mask this out and do things like that. I recommend doing these with normal maps or displacement maps, not actually modeling them in. Uh, as usual, there's some parts here that are just, uh, I'm not quite sure what's happening. Like, I'm not quite sure what's happening right here. Perhaps we can figure some things out. So let's just start with the general workflow. So where would, where would you start with this? Well, probably I would start with, uh, with this piece right here. And we can get kind of a view of this right here. So let's start with the cylinder. I would choose uh, 32. You may want to go with 64. You know, not too high, not too low. And we're going to center it. I'm just going to apply it a poly. I actually will go ahead and have this for our cap segments. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and just give this a blue color. All right. So essentially what we need to do is right away, I will just delete half of this. And let's say this half right here, and we'll apply symmetry and then symmetry once more. If you're using 3ds Max 2022 or a newer version, you can just have multiple symmetries in the same modifier, but I'm using 3ds Max 2021 right now. All right, so we've got this. And so what we need to do is pretty much, let's see here. All right, let's see here. So I'm just trying to kind of uh, work out this piece here. And then I can just select this. Let's see here. Actually, what I would do is just maybe use uh, some quick Boolean here. With maybe uh, let's go with 12 sides. All right, if you want to get some sort of threading right here, you can actually go ahead and use a free script called Nuts and Bolts. All you can do is use kind of a helix right here. Have the proper amount of turns here, for example. So these are all things you would need to kind of look up for this. I can't really quite tell just by the image. But let's say you got something like this going on here. And you go ahead and use Extrude. And kind of extrude that. First thing we need to do is just kind of uh, bridge this, and then uh, bridge that, and then uh, loop this. All right, do something like that. And we're gonna cap this. So essentially you get something like this and you can use uh, 
smooth with auto smooth. All right. So we're going to move this uh, where you want it to be. All right, hold control, click on remove. There we go. So you can just go in here and just gonna simplify things. If you really, if you want this to be sort of subdivisible after you do the work on this, you can even go even further. So we can do something like this, for example. All right, so it's just gonna simplify it like this. Of course, make sure that it kind of fits through here. All right, and then you just go ahead and kind of uh, Boolean this. And so now you can see you got these this nice threading happening here. So this is how you can do set up some threading. Advanced options, no edge removal. I like to use rapid tools, cleanup, rapid mesh cleanup. Find the mid edge vertices and remove them. All right. So if we now try and you know, apply symmetry to this, and we try and turbo smooth this, you can see we kind of get a nasty result here, but that's because we just had to deliver a cleanup right here. So what we do is just we just target weld. Sometimes it's okay to have lots of triangles, even some triangles here. Maybe not lots of triangles, but some triangles are okay. We're going to press Control A and just do a basic weld right here, just to get some things. All right. As you can see, right off the bat, we're getting much better results here as opposed to how it was previously. So if you want to have subdivision with this, you're just going to go ahead and simplify it, and you get a good result. And there we go. So you can get a clean result here. Do the same for the bottom as well. To fix this, we can just kind of go around here to get that loop here. And now I've got this happening like so. So these are just things that we do just to have, sh just to make sure we can subdivide and then we could use creases and fix at the bottom as well. But this is how you can have subdivision with these kinds of third details. All right. So now we pretty much have to do this part right here. So essentially it looks like it looks like there's this part right here, which it looks like this part is unpainted. It looks like there's some partial paint on here. So we just have to kind of figure out what's happening here. So it kind of looks like there's something similar to this happening here. So these are things that I can't quite tell from the reference what what what's going on here with the depth but these are just things that you can figure out as as you just kind of uh, have more images I'm just going to show you the workflow once again so all right so 
it looks like this may be one object. Now, you know, ideally, you would go ahead and texture this to have this part be painted and then the threads be the original metal. And you can see how, like, this is painted and then here's the original metal right here. But in order to represent that, you can use a multi subject material for now. So, what I would do is go ahead and press M to open the material editor. And so, we have a multi sub object material right here. And then I'll just copy this and plug this into one. We double click on this and just have it be set number two. And so we're just going to go ahead and kind of get a similar blue as the reference image. All right. Let's go with maybe something like that. And then we'll have just the basic gray for number two. And you can also increase the spec level and gloss to just make a better modeling material. And for this one, we will make uh, something like that. All right, we're going to select this. We're going to apply this material. And then we'll select this and we'll grow it. Actually, we'll do a little bit of a, do a little bit of an inset right here. All right, so now we can select all of the faces and give that all an idea of idea of one, and then select this right here, and then just kind of grow this. And let's see here. Somewhere around there, we'll give that an idea of two. All right, guys, that's enough action for part one. Join me in part two. We will make perhaps the most complicated part. Trying to figure out what's happening right here. Thank you for watching and take care.